Hey everyone, welcome to Armin Motors, and today we are going to be looking at a couple of sweet Steiger mods from Carl Farms. And I will tell you this, if you're not typically a Case IH fan, these mods might have you seeing a little bit more red than green, for sure. These things are loaded with options. Let's hop right in and get to it. So on the narrow frame, we've got tracked and wheeled and let's start with the tracked so we've got continentals and we've got lizards let's take a look at these continentals first we've got the trackman rotex 16 and a half 18s 21s 24s and 30s then we go to the hps 16 18 21 24 and 30 and the hpx's 16 18 21 24 and 30 track spacing don't like the spacing so much well let's just bump it out we can go to 80 to 88 to 120s and back to 80 design we've got your standard u.s design we've got european design we've got euro without the placards we've got u.s with rock box we've got euro with a rock box and we've got oversize we've got oversize with a rock box and back to the US. Now on the front options, we've got a standard front end. We've got a front end with a weight carrier, and then we can just start adding some weights to that front and back to a standard front end. Windows, we can have default windows, a little bit of tenting, a little more, and just about blacked out. Very nice. Beacon lights, both default, left, right, both LED, left right leds and none at all on the front lights we've got the default we've got front cab lights we've got leds we've got leds with front cab lights back to default in-game monitors we've got the field view we've got precision planting we've got precision planting plus field view we've got the kenzie planter monitors field view plus kenzie and back to none Floor coverings, uh, let's see if we can, yeah, kind of angle it down that way a little bit. So on the floor coverings, we've got just the default floor covering, and we've got cardboard, and we've got carpet, and back to default. On the exhaust, we've got the default exhaust. We've got a rain cap we can throw on there, back to default. On the rear attach, rear hitch, we've got the standard rear hitch. We've got rear hitch with rear weight bracket, sorry. 2,200 pounds, 3,100 pounds, quick hitch, and normal hitch. Then you can also do fleet numbers if you so desire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and back to none at all. On the engine setups, we got a stock 468 horsepower motor. We can go to a CVX transmission. Then we can bump it up to a force uh, to a 524 horse power shift, 524 horse CVX, 558 power shift, 558 horse CVX, and then back to our standard 420 with 468 horsepower power shift. Color options: you've got red, black, looking sharp, and silver. If you want to stand out from the crowd a little bit. And of course, we've got design colors too. Black and silver design colors. Very, very nice. License plates, if you so desire. That is the narrow tracked option. And then if we go into the narrow wheeled option, we've got Trailer Borgs, Michelin, Continentals, Midas, BKT, Friedestein, Lizard, and back to Trailer Borg. I'll tell you what, the, the your options are are almost unlimited. It's crazy. I'm just gonna run through these 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 tire options, I guess, as best I can. Single with weights, very nice. Three meter spacing, widen them out, big flotation tires. Duallys. Duels with weights, whoops. Got a little click happy. More duels, more duels with weights, and back to the singles. 
Let's take a look at the Michelins. So we've got standard Michelin singles. We've got singles with weights. We've got duels. Duels with weights. Bigger duels with weights. Back to the singles. Continentals. Standard single continentals with weights. Bigger singles. Oh, look at those things. Aren't they beautiful? The big floaters with the weights. We've got three meter spacing on those. Got some duels, duels with weights, bigger duels. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's add some weights to those because that's just not enough yet. And back to the singles. Let's take a look at the Midas. All right, so in the Midas, we've got some singles. We've got singles with weights. We've got bigger flotation singles, singles with weights. We've got some duels, duels with weights, bigger duels, and duels with weights. Back to the singles. BKTs, if you're a BKT fan, nice little aggressive tread pattern there. We've got singles, singles with weights, bigger singles, singles with weights, duels, duels with weights, bigger duels with, oh, and then back, oh, duels with weights. Mmm. That might be a little bit of a problem. We'll have to, they will put a little bug report in for that guy. Let's take a look at the uh, Ridestein. So if Ridestein, actually, you know, this is a tire brand that I just don't, or I rarely use, I guess. But these are looking pretty sharp. Single, single with weights. Duels, duels with weights. Bigger duels, duels with weights. Back to our singles. And then Lizard brand, Look at the size of those floaters. That is impressive. With weights, 1250s with weights, 1100s with weights, 1100 twins. <laughs> oh man, oh that's awesome. Those look like row crop duels, basically, with weights. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into triples. What in the world? Dual 30-inch spacing row crops. Very nice. Holy cow, it just keeps going. Same thing, but with weights. That is super impressive. 36-inch space. 36-inch space with weights. Triples number two. Back to the 1400s. Man, that is so, so amazing looking. U.S., sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm caught off by how, much, how many options these Steigers have. It is, Carl Farms, you know what you're doing. U.S., Euro Design, Euro with pack, placards, U.S. with a rock box, Euro with a rock box, oversized, oversized with a rock box. Front options, again, we've got basic front end, we've got a front end weight carrier, and we can go through the weights back to a standard front end. Window tenting once again available on the wheeled version of the narrow frame. Beacon lights both. Left, right, LEDs. Left, right, LEDs, and none. Lights, we've got default. We've got front cab lights. We've got LEDs, and we've got LEDs with front cab lights. In cab monitors. I think you know where we're going with this. Field view, precision planting, precision planting and field view, the Kinsey planter monitors, field view with the Kinsey monitor and none at all. Floor covering once again is your standard, your cardboard and your carpet. Exhaust, we've got default, we've got a rain cap back to default. Attachments, we've got the standard rear hitch, we've got rear weight bracket, we can add 2200 pounds, 3100 pounds, a quick hitch back to standard rear hitch. Fleet numbers, you've got all the way from one through nine. Engine setup, we've got the standard Steiger 370 that comes in at 425 horsepower. We've got a 370 with the CVT. We've got a 420 that puts out 462 horsepower. That same engine with the CVT. We've got a 470, which is 524 horse. And we can get that with a CVT. And then back to the default 425 horsepower 370 Steiger colors. We've got the standard black, red, and silver. Looking sharp for sure. 
And then if you look here on the design color, we've got red. We change the interior design to black and interior design to silver. And then rim colors, we can change from white. We can do silver, black looking sharp as always. White, what's that first one there? Gray, okay, there we go. Looking tidy and sharp. I am loving these narrow tracks. And I'll tell you, I am not the biggest Case IH fan, but I I have been progressing to the Case side here with FS22. There have been some really nice Case mods coming out. And here's our wide frame. Look at this beast. Beautiful. Yeah, that's looking beautiful. 30-inch tread pattern, 30-inch width on those tracks, 32-inch width. 36 inch back to the 30s what else do we have we have continental tread patterns we've got xp30 xp32 xp36 back to the xp30 lizard brand we've got gator 30s 32 36 back to 30 back to our default what is that default is it can't camzo i believe is what that is Design is U.S. Euro, Euro without placards, Euro U.S. with a rock box, Euro with a rock box, back to U.S. Front options, we've got a standard front end, and then we can just start adding some weights to the front end, 1,000 or 2,200 pound weight options there. Windows, we can tent it up all the way to blacking it out. Beacon lights, both by default, left, right, LED, and then LED left or right lights we can do leds we can do front cab lights or we can do leds with front cab lights in cab monitor is going to be the field view precision planting precision planting with field view the kinsey planter monitor field view with kinsey or not at all floor covering we've got default oops sorry about that default cardboard and carpeting and on the exhaust just added that rain cap or no rain cap attachers we've got the standard rear hitch rear weight bracket we can add 3100 pounds 4500 pounds or a quick hitch Whew. wow welker logo none by default there's our welker farms logo and none by default default <laughs> that was kind of a interesting slip of the tongue there uh fleet numbers none and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine for your fleet numbers. And on engine setup, we start with the standard quad track 470, putting out 524 horsepower. We can do the same engine, but with a CVX transmission, quad track 500, which puts out 558, that same motor with a CVX. Then we step up to a quad track 540 with 613 horse. That same motor with a CVX, step it up again to a 580 with 647 horse, step it up again to a 620 with 692 horse, back down to 524 horse, standard 470. Almost makes that 524 horsepower look small, doesn't it? When you, when you consider the 692 that you can get, Whew. wow. Yeah. I'll tell you, I, like I said, I, I generally don't, have never been a huge fan of the red team, but I look forward to giving these, all three of these Steigers a workout. I think they're beautiful looking machines. They sound fantastic. They look, they look great. Interior is very, very well done. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's Carl Farms, you hit it out of the park with these. I think you've done an amazing job with all the options that you've given us. This is fantastic. This is the kind of stuff that, you know, we look to Giants for doing really, really good work on their models. But we look to modders for stepping up the game, right? And adding all of these options for us players. And I'll tell you, we appreciate it. Well, thanks for joining me once again today, everyone. Thanks for putting up with me. I will have links to the um, downloads in the description below. Give Carl Farms some love for sure because 
This had to take some work, and these things are looking magnificent. Give them a try on your farm. You might just switch teams if you haven't already. You all take care of yourself. God bless, and I will see you next time.